So, hello, good morning, dear students. Narito muli tayo sa ating channel para matuto ng another math lessons in line with the K-12 program ng Department of Education. So, ang topic natin sa umagang ito is all about cube of binomials. So, bago tayo magsimula sa ating topic, kung bago lang tayo sa ating channel at gusto pa natin ng mga math lessons na tulad nito, just click the subscribe button and at yung notification bell sa baba ng ating videos to stay updated with our latest uploads sa ating channel. So, let's go back to our topic. Our topic is all about cube of binomials. Now, pag sinabing cube of binomials, ibig sabihin yung two terms will be raised to the third exponent, third power. So, may steps tayong sinusunod sa pag cube ng binomial. These are the steps in finding the cube of a binomial. So, number one, find the cube of each term to get the first and last terms. So, i-cube mo lang yung first term at yung last term. Second, the second term is three times the product of the square of the first term and the second term. Mas maintindihan nyo yan mamaya. Third, the third term is 3 times the product of the first term and the square of the second term. So, para maunawaan nyo yan ng mas madali, let us have examples. So, find the cube of the following binomials. Number 1, x plus y cube. So, binomial yan dahil dalawang terms, which is raised to the third exponent. So, cube of binomial ang hinanap natin. This is part of special products. So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina sa mga nauna nating slides, ang unang, ang unang step sa paghanap ng cube of binomial, just cube the first term and then the last term. Yun ang magiging first term niya at last term niya. So, ito ang magiging sagot yan. X cube plus Y cube. Bakit magkahiwalay sila? Kasi, meron pang nasa gitna nilang dalawang terms tayong hanapin. Pero, yung first term at yung last term nasagot na natin which is x cube plus y cube how about the second term so according to to the procedure kanina ang second term will be 3 times the square of the first term times the last term so 3 times x square y at yung magiging third term niya natin will be equal to 3 times the first term times the square of the last term so 3x square okay so yan ang yan ang sagot yan ang cube ng first item first number natin how about the second minus naman ito x minus y cube so same procedure find the cube of the first term at yung cube ng last term so maging sagot is x cube tapos negative y cube sa huli. Bakit negative? Kasi kasi negative yung given. So, magiging negative siya. How about the second term? 3 times x square times negative y will be equal to negative 3 x square y. And then, the, the third term will be 3 times the first term times the square of the second term. So, 3 times x times negative y square will be equal to positive y square kaya magiging positive ito so let us have another example yung medyo, med yung medyo mahaba ang solution so meron tayong third example here which is 2x plus 3y raised to 3 so ang first term find the cube of the first term and then the last term hindi pa natin sinimplify yan and then second is 2 times the uh, first term times the square of the first term times the second term. So, 2 times 2x square times 3y. And then, 3 times 3 times 2x times 3y is square. Kasi yung second, yung third term natin, yun naman na ang square natin. Okay? Ngayon, isisimplify natin yan. 2x cubed is equal to 8x cubed. Kasi, ang ibig sabihin ng cube is 2 times 2 times 2. That will be equal to 8x cubed. Second, 3 
times the square of 2 times 3 so magiging 3 times 4x square times 3y plus 3 times 2x times 9y square kasi ini square natin yung 3 at yung y plus 9y cube kasi ini square natin yung 3y next okay so 8 x cube plus 3 times 4 times 3 will be equal to 36 then yung uh, variable nya is x square y plus 2 or plus 3 times 2 times 9 is equal to 54 x y square plus 9 y cube so ito yung sagot nya so, ganyan ang paraan para mag-cube tayo ng binomial. So, itinuturo ko ito sa inyo para mag-aral kayo sa bahay at matuto kayo. Kasi no face-to-face -face ang klase ng pag-aaral ngayon. So, ngayong panahon ng pandemic, dapat nag-aaral kayo sa loob ng bahay. So, para matuto kayo ng higit, meron tayong quiz dito. Find the cube of the following binomials. 1 to 5 items yan. I-try nyo sagutin yan sa bahay ninyo. Sa one whole sheet of paper kung kaya ninyo sagutin niyan. Okay? So, kung gusto pa ninyo ng ganito mga videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell sa baba ng ating videos para maging updated kayo sa mga latest uploads natin sa ating channel. So, hanggang dito na lang, dear students. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.